Complete View 2020 integrates with many third-party systems, such as access control and video analytics. The combined solution creates a powerful tool to better utilize and identify the most relevant video. Here's how it works. When viewing live video, analytics and access control systems provide event alerts to Complete View. Those alerts trigger visual cues on the corresponding cameras, so the user's attention is directed to the potentially relevant activity happening in the system. Here we see the camera has a yellow activity indicator, both above the live feed as well as on the map. The alarm view in CV2020 uses events for motion detection, analytics, access control, and other systems to focus the user's attention to only the potentially relevant cameras. On this single screen, live video events are displayed, data from the event is presented below the live video, live and recorded video of the event can be displayed to the right, and the map the camera is programmed on displays at the top which provides the user a single view of all information needed to identify a security incident and direct an appropriate response to the incident location. Many access control and analytic systems provide additional details of an event. This metadata helps investigators identify the video evidence more quickly. The search by list method of investigations provides a great example. This camera has built-in face detection capability. Rather than search all the day's video to find who walked through the hallway, those specific events are clearly called out for faster identification. Text details of the event can also be searched. Under the Search Events screen in Diagnostics, select the day you want to search, then select Camera and Alarm Start. Specify the text keywords in the search box and hit Enter. The list of all the events is filtered to just events matching my keyword search. From this screen, the investigator can review the events and export relevant clips to the video queue. By searching an individual's name, I'm able to see all the doors they accessed in a facility. Clicking the event shows the video, which reveals an unauthorized individual used Keith's credential to access the data center. Check saliencesys.com under Partners for a full listing of integrated access control, analytics, and other third-party systems. CompleteView's dynamic resolution scaling provides unmatched bandwidth savings, enabling fast video call-up, low latency, and the ability to perform remote monitoring investigations even on sites with low bandwidth connections. Using a typical video management system, video is recorded at high resolution. When a client connects to view live or recorded video, the video is streamed to the client at higher resolution than what can be used for display. As a result, the client computer needs to shrink or scale the video to fit on the screen. The extra resolution that is removed during the scaling process is never used, meaning lots of unneeded data was transmitted over the network and processed by the client computer. This results in unnecessarily high bandwidth and client CPU consumption. Using CompleteView's unique dynamic resolution scaling feature, the same process takes place with one important change. The client automatically tells the server what size video it needs, and the scaling process occurs at the CompleteView server. Because the video is scaled before it's transmitted over the network, only the pixels you see on the screen are ever transmitted to the client resulting in bandwidth savings that are often 90% or greater as compared with the original stream from the camera. Because the client is not processing all the unneeded resolution, the client computer is able to display more cameras at higher frame rate and with lower latency. Dynamic resolution scaling never affects recorded video quality or resolution, so video evidence can always be exported in full detail. Let's see an example of dynamic resolution scaling in action. In CompleteView's desktop client, the same camera is displayed in both the top and bottom video view areas. This camera is being recorded at 3 megapixel resolution, however the screen we're viewing this on is 1080p resolution, or about 2 megapixels, so even if the camera were being shown full screen it would not be possible to see the full camera resolution. I have enabled a text overlay of both video feeds showing the properties of the video stream, including the bitrate. I will disable dynamic resolution scaling on the bottom camera. You will see the resolution of the stream being transmitted jumps from 486 by 364 to 2048 by 1536, an 18 times difference. There is still no difference in display quality because both video feeds are displayed at the same resolution on screen. However, the bitrate has jumped from 539 kilobits per second to over 7800 kilobits per second. Using dynamic resolution scaling, CompleteView only sends the pixels which will be displayed on screen. In fact, dynamic resolution scaling has a similar effect when digitally zooming into high-resolution cameras. Let's see how that works. Digital zoom allows you to see part of a camera's field of view in higher resolution. In this example, the user will zoom in on the truck. 
The typical VMS transmits the full camera resolution of the client system, at which point the client crops out the unseen area of the video stream to show the truck in full detail. Because all the background area is being transmitted, a lot of bandwidth and client computing power is wasted transmitting and processing all the extra video, which is not seen. Using dynamic resolution scaling, the client tells the CompleteView server what area it needs to zoom in on. CompleteView crops out the unneeded area before transmitting the video, and therefore only sends the pixels which will be transmitted. This again results in the ability to transmit more video over low bandwidth connections and faster client responsiveness. In this example, notice the poster with text on the right side of the camera. We are not able to read the text because it is displayed at too low a resolution and in too small an area on the screen. As I digitally zoom into the poster, we can now read the text. This indicates the area of the camera's field of view is being displayed at higher resolution. The rest of the kitchen area is no longer displayed and has been cropped out of the view area. I will disable dynamic resolution scaling on the bottom camera and zoom in. You can see the two views appear the same, however the bottom view with dynamic resolution scaling disabled is being transmitted at a much higher resolution and is consuming more bandwidth. Complete view with dynamic resolution scaling provides low latency, fast video call-up, and unrivaled performance when remotely monitoring or investigating low bandwidth sites. The video wall feature of Complete View Enterprise gives users the ability to control what is displayed across multiple screens on separate computers. Here's how it works. In a global security operations center, multiple display screens will be connected to separate computers. Agent software from Salient is loaded onto each computer. This tells CompleteView about the available displays it can control. A CompleteView 2020 desktop client can display a virtual representation of the physical video wall. Dragging and dropping resources like view layouts, individual cameras, and maps cause them to display on the corresponding screens on the separate computers. Video wall can also be used for collaboration. In this example, one of the security director's screens is configured as a single screen video wall using the video wall agent. The operator moves a video feed to the security director's screen, then calls the director to discuss how to respond to the incident. In this demonstration, we have a 16 monitor video wall where each group of four screens is attached to one computer. The video wall agent software is loaded and configured on each of the computers we'll be controlling. We're controlling the entire video wall from a single CompleteView 2020 desktop client. Dragging and dropping views, maps, and individual cameras causes them to display on the corresponding physical screens. Because of dynamic resolution scaling, the displays populate quickly, and video streams use very little bandwidth. Using video wall, security operators can control GSOC displays quickly and easily without expensive third-party video wall technology. Mapping in CompleteView provides a powerful way to navigate to cameras of interest based on where they're physically located. Navigating the surveillance system using maps provides camera location and coverage detail that may not be obvious when viewing cameras in a list or in a traditional view layout. Maps can be from satellite mapping services like you see here or from images uploaded into the system which may show a building floor plan. Each camera on the map has a field of view cone representing the camera's coverage area and range. The field of view cones will change color to indicate motion detection, analytics, access control, or other activity associated with the camera. This lets the security system operators know where to focus attention. In fact, if activity occurs on a higher or lower level map, the map link will flash colors, indicating activity on a different map so you always know where to navigate to find cameras in the system. It's often necessary to track subjects of interest in the security system, however this can be difficult if cameras are not arranged by their location in a view layout. CompleteView's Maps includes a feature called GeoView, which allows users to easily track people by creating view layouts on the fly of cameras near each other. Once I spot a person I'd like to follow, I can select that camera plus the cameras that surround it. Clicking the View button creates a layout with that camera selection. Once the subject moves off the first camera's field of view, I immediately spot them on the next camera. Because the cameras are already set up on a map, it's easy to identify all the cameras which will be relevant to tracking our subject. Using CompleteView Maps, users can both navigate to cameras intuitively based on camera location relative to the facility being monitored, and track subjects easily using the built-in GeoView functionality. In this video demonstration, we'll review CompleteView's thumbnail search capability. 
one of four investigative functions in the platform. Thumbnail search is the fastest way to find video evidence when something appears or goes missing in the scene. Normally, searching in a timeline would require an investigator to watch hours of video. Using thumbnail search, we'll be able to locate the exact clip we're searching for with just three clicks of the mouse. Take a look at the camera in the upper left-hand corner of the view, showing the parking lot. For this demonstration, we'll identify when the truck arrived. The easiest way to enter thumbnail search is to right-click on the camera, choose Recorded Video, then choose Search by Thumbnails. Thumbnail search loads the current 24-hour period of video as a series of thumbnails, each representing one hour from the camera. I'm going to zoom in on the thumbnails. If I want to change the current period we're searching through, I can use the calendar controls at the top of the screen. But for this demonstration, we're going to focus on the current 24-hour period. The goal with thumbnail search is to look through the images and identify the first image where we see the truck. And the first image represents 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., which means the truck was present in the camera's field of view for that entire hour. That also means the truck showed up sometime between 9 and 10 a.m. So we're going to take that one hour period of video and split it into a series of five minute segments. So each of these thumbnails represents five minutes between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. We'll repeat the same process by scrolling through the images until we see the clip where the truck was first shown. And that appears at 9.05 a.m., which means the truck arrived sometime between 9 and 9.05 a.m. We can now take that five minute clip and split that into a series of thumbnails representing 30 seconds from the camera. So again, I'll scroll through the thumbnails and we see the truck first arrived at 9.04 a.m. So sometime between 9.03 and 30 seconds and 9.04, the truck showed up in the image. So I'm going to play that clip. I'll grab the scrub bar and scroll through the video until I see the truck arrive. And there it is. I can now take this clip and export it, or I can add it to my video queue and then go and search other cameras using other search methods in CompleteView. But using thumbnail search, because we were looking for an object that arrived, we were able to find it with just three clicks of the mouse. CompleteView includes ProxyCast, a powerful feature which saves bandwidth when multiple users connect to the same camera. Let's see how it works. Without ProxyCast, when multiple users connect to see the same video stream, a stream is created and transmitted for each connected client. In this example, the camera and corresponding CompleteView recording server are located at a remote site which has limited bandwidth. Multiple simultaneous client connections may consume more bandwidth than the site has available. Adding a ProxyCast server reduces the load of multiple client connections. It does this by receiving the client requests, then pulling only a single stream from the CompleteView server at the remote site. The ProxyCast server then replicates the stream for each client that wants to view the camera. In this example, we're using a ProxyCast server to distribute video streams to three clients which saves up to 67% bandwidth when compared to clients connecting directly to the low bandwidth site. Bandwidth savings are even larger for deployments with more simultaneous client connections. Using a CompleteView ProxyCast server reduces the impact to low bandwidth sites and allows network architects to distribute the load to high bandwidth sites where resources are available. 